Okay, for this video, uh, gonna give another way, another giveaway, another XP t-shirt or sweatshirt, Team USA black camo. This one is a size small. So, on the comments below on this video, if you want to comment, you want to win a size small, or you know somebody can wear a size small, then just comment, and I will uh, give each comment a number. Use a a number generator random number generator to pick a winner and I will send you one of these for free so comment on this video if you want to wear one or if you want to win one all right here's a signal 900 40s 50s 60s Seventy four now it's out. Probably a penny. Right there somewhere. Yep, yeah, penny or dime. Alright, we'll have to see what that is later. Alright, here's another decent signal on the Equinox, mid 40s to low 50s. I really like the clarity of the 900 and really how short it is, uh, it is of itself on signals. There's the dirt that we usually, or the color of sand we usually get tarts out of here. Yeah, it's probably in that scoop. Pretty deep target. Reading up 50 to 54 now. Piece of brass of some sort. Possibly looks like it might be a pin or a buckle. Yeah, it's a buckle. Self of a belt or something. Kind of neat, big brass item. Alright, right next to that buckle. Got another signal in the 40s. I will say I am having a little trouble with the shaft twisting on this thing already. Um, probably can tighten those cam locks and the screw down and keep it from turning, but kind of wish they'd have made that a little bit out of round so it wouldn't twist so easy. So I really am liking the way this thing is locking on these targets. Now it's jumped up to 57, 58. Right there, another buckle. Huh. Another one of those brass buckles. Tell you the ergonomics on this machine is really nice compared to the 900. Does not feel nose heavy at all. Uh, really liking that. The fact that it's more waterproof too. I think it's good to five more feet than the Equinox 800, and we know the record on that. Quite a few leakages, but maybe not in the whole scheme of things. But you know, we did hear about a lot of them. This is a nice high tone. 
86, 87, pretty solid. Well, that's got to be, not sure what's, what the scale equals out to on this, but that's got to be silver, possibly a quarter. Barely down in that gray sand, really wasn't all that deep. Right there, it's a shotgun shell. Oh, maybe that's a ring. It is, it's brass. Yeah, I think that's a ring. Yeah, hard to say, it looks like that, that goes through. Uh, yeah, I think it's a brass, brass or silver ring. That's probably a silver ring. So, I'll have to clean that up and get home and see what we got. But I think that's a silver ring. Got a. This appears to be a fairly deep target here, or fairly small, one of the two. All the shovels down to six are lit up. Could be edge of detection. Could be a small piece of crap. Just don't know. Take a little sand off and try it again, see what we come up with. Might just bury it up. Well, we'll keep going, see what we got. Still down there. I don't know what it could be. be nice if it was a small ring, but huh. finding it hard to believe that's any good. It isn't out in that. I'm not digging it. Yeah, iron. Thirty-five to forty. Mostly. Mostly in the. 30s that could be could be my ring I'm looking for <sighs> there's the sand darker sand I don't usually sit in so we're probably about out yeah, probably sitting right in it. That will probably have it out right there. Nope. Well, we're beyond shovel depth now. Time to get the pinpointer out. Yeah, where to go? There it was. Right there. Still in the bottom of the hole. Alright, we'll take another double pull out. be in that right there it's 
Couple of 50s now. Probably ground balance right over it. Oh, there it is right there. Let's see. Nice to pull a ring out of here. Yeah, it's looking like a coin. Probably a penny. Yeah, maybe not. Might be a button or something. But anyway. There's a signal in the 20s, 1920. Based on that, those uh, target IDs, that could be a deep nickel. Right on the edge of detection because it occasionally jumps to 23. I think that's what a nickel is on this. Can't even remember. I haven't had a long enough. Yeah, not sure. Looks like that lower. Tighten up this lower shaft here. Keeps twisting. Maybe that's a little better. Still be in there. Solid twenty three now. Yeah, right there. Yep, looking like a nickel. All right. Okay, you got this signal here in the 40s, 50s. Yeah, you know, I think I'm really liking the audio over the DS2. Um, this appears to be about as deep too. You know, I always figured the DS2 out here was the deepest machine. Um, I think it has the Equinox by about an inch. Maybe two, but this is right on the DS2's heels and I like the audio better, so. 56, 57, now that it's out. Crusty panty. Yeah. Not sure if that's a probably a wheat, but it might not be. Anyway, there it is. Got another signal right next to where I dug that panty. Coming up at the 30s, 40s. Surprised at the number of targets that are out here because. I've had my Pulse machine out here quite a bit. Thought I had this all dug out. Not to say that these are deeper than a Pulse, but you just never know. 55, 56, probably another penny. One of these times I need a gold ring, but yeah, it's gonna be another penny right there. All right. Okay, I got the signal here. Kind of jumpy, but definitely something down there. Keep going. Okay, 
see now we're getting down to that darker sand. Been out for a while. And that might end up being a piece of, I don't know, kind of high for aluminum. Right there, it's like a crusty panty. Okay. This signal here, I'm almost batting is going to be iron just because of the way it's so jumpy and all over the place, but we'll dig it up and see what we got here. Normally, I think I'd probably pass that, but we'll see. Still in there. Should be in that nice gray dirt right there. Yep. Well, that's a pretty dang high number now. May have been laying on edge. Got a bunch of duck hunters over there. Right there. Headed out for the day. Right there. Well, it is a big item. It's like a uh, silver bracelet. That's what that is. I think. I think that's a stone right there. Could be wrong, but I'm not thinking that's what that is. That could be pretty cool. That's why it was so odd sounding. Not sure what that hook is right there though, unless it's partially broken or something. Fairly certain that's a stone though. Have to see how that cleans up, pretty neat. Just barely missed that one on my last uh, sweep up. Shovel marks right there, must have just barely not swung over that, but might not that be might not be that great of a target anyway. Might be a really deep nickel. <sighs> Sorry for all the snorting. I've had a cold lately and trying to get over that. Mostly iron. Occasionally we get a number, so could be something deep. Cylinder. Whatever it is. Should be out here soon now. I'm down that gray sand. Might be iron. Let's grab a pinpointer. Right there in the edge. 
be right there. Looks like a coin. Yeah, it's one of those uh, brass buckles that went on those rubber swim caps. Fairly deep target though. We're talking that far below the pinpointer. That's probably 13 inches. Okay, here's what was found today. Uh, not exactly sure which items or coins or whatever were found during the comparison, but um, all of this was found today with either the Equinox 900 or in the comparison test that he did. So, and not all of, all of it was filmed, but it looks like he got a bracelet, possibly a silver ring there. Uh, I think that's going to be a silver bracelet. Um, these are pennies or dimes. There's, looks like, like six of them, eight of them. A key. Uh, these are two of the swim buckles, two of the bigger buckles. And it looks like four nickels. So, we'll crack those open, see what we got, and I'll be back to show you what they are. All right, so you just never know what you're going to end up with till you crack this stuff open. Um, but so this ended up being a piece of lead. Uh, they're the the keys and the little buckles and stuff I haven't included here. But um, looks like these are all wheat pennies. So five of them. That was a memorial. Um, three silver dimes, but they're all Roosevelts. So nothing terribly old here. Um, Jefferson nickels, piece of lead. Uh, this is definitely a silver ring uh, you can see the you can see there's kind of a pattern pattern on it hard to get a shot there but there's a pattern on that and then this is definitely a silver bracelet uh, looks like maybe a wing design there or something got a stone in the center uh, some decoration down here on the edges um, so that's pretty cool but Good day out there learning the, learning the new machine. Had a lot of fun, so stay tuned for the next hunt. Thanks for watching.